Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and today's word for the day comes from Genesis 15. Man, something that I've really been concentrating on lately is God's promises. I think God has been reminding me of just how faithful he really is. Genesis 15 starts off with Abraham receiving a vision from the Lord. And in this vision, he has a conversation with God that goes something like this. Abram, I have a plan and promise for your life. All you have to do is trust me. They go on talking. Abram finds something to complain about. And God decides to do something that he has done generation after generation. He makes a covenant with Abram. He tells Abram, go and get these animals, prepare them how I tell you to, and wait. Finally, Abram falls into a deep sleep, and in his sleep, he sees a vision of God passing through the animals that he has sacrificed and prepared. You see, God was solidifying his promise to Abraham. And what was the promise? The promise that was that God would deliver the land that Abram was standing in to him and his future, his future family. The other part of God's promise was that he would make Abram's family as numerous as there are stars in the sky. As you're reading through the Old Testament, you can see just how faithful God was to his promise to Abraham. Even when Abraham wasn't faithful to God, even when Abram's family wasn't faithful to God, God was faithful to his promise. Because God is the ultimate promise keeper. All of this reminds me of the salvation that we receive through the cross of Jesus Christ. Those who believe in Jesus Christ as their Savior have also entered into a covenant promise with God. One where we mess up all the time, but God is faithful to that promise of salvation and eternal life through Jesus Christ through and through. Man, when we worry about the promise of God being fulfilled in your life, you should take the time and look back at the Old Testament stories and be reminded of how faithful God actually is. So as we close, I want to encourage you. Read Genesis 15 and see the promises that God has made Abram and his family. But then also, I want you to do one more thing. Read Romans 4 right after that, okay? Check this out. Something you may not even know. If you are a follower of Jesus, then you are a part of that promise God made to Abram so long ago. Romans 4.13 tells us this. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. You see, that promise is continually being fulfilled even today through our faith in Jesus Christ. So be encouraged that God is faithful and good. And God promises us salvation for those who believe. So trust in that promise because it comes from the ultimate promise keeper. Have a blessed day, Calvary.